So here we have the RC rescue boat and it's made from electrical conduit uh, making up the frame and the pontoons. Pontoons are covered with pool noodle or EPP foam tubes for flotation. Receiver and battery are in a sealable food container. Uh, I have three motors, two for forward thrust with differential differential th throttle for steering and a motor for reverse as well so I can steer in forward or reverse the ESC's are sort of waterproofed in uh, bicycle tubes with cable ties clamping each end uh, if it was underwater it would let water in but it's fairly well splash proof I think cables going into the plastic container are really just taped to prevent water getting in. Um, that should be okay I think. Coreplast deck held together with, together with cable ties. Time for the maiden voyage of the RC rescue boat. Let's see if it floats. Okay everything's recording. I'm going to put a tether on it to start off with just to be safe. <laughs> I reckon this will work. Does it float? Beautifully. All right. Oh, easy. Maneuverability. Going. Yeah, good. That's a bit unusual. Yeah. <laughs> well, I started flying, um, no. trying to fly seaplanes that take oh, yeah. off from the water, and of course it dunked in and stopped working. So <laughs> now I need a rescue boat. So yeah. That's oh, a bit of fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, lots of fun. What do you think, Bob? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I bet you do. Uh, right. See you, mate. Is there anything down here? Uh, I don't know. I've never been further, actually. Oh, no. Right, See ya.
that's all worked really well. Uh, there's no water that's got in as far as I can see. I've got a bit of a paper t towel in there to soak up any water, but it uh, doesn't seem to be wet at all. It nose dives a little bit when you go full throttle, but not really designed to go full throttle. Uh, it would be better to have a sort of a lifting surface there to keep the nose up out of the water, I think. Maybe to um, spread the rooster tail apart as well. Nothing's getting too hot. ESCs are fine. They didn't get any water as far as I can see. Tether causes a, a fair bit of drag. Uh, but if you are rescuing a boat, the tether would be fine. Um, but for hooting around as fast as you want, you take the tether off and uh, hope that it doesn't need rescuing itself. So what next? Uh, well, I guess we could try FPV. All right, so I'll put a little FPV camera on it and have some more adventures. Thanks for watching.